AITA for telling my vegan roommate no one cares about her documentaries? I, 18M, am living in shared accommodations with 18F and three other people for college. We all have our own rooms but share the kitchen and living area. I will call my vegan roommate Sarah for the purpose of this post. I'm totally fine with veganism and Sarah is nice enough. When we first moved in she asked if she could have the top fridge shelf and to keep it vegan. And to not use her cooking things without asking and to only use it to make things like vegetables. To avoid cross-contamination. This isn't an issue and I respect her choices. However as the weeks have went on it seems like she is subtly trying to convert the flat. For example by sending everyone various documentaries on WhatsApp and suggesting we watch them. Whenever we do movie night. At first it was fine but at this point it's honestly annoying and more than just me feels this way. Also, she is rather judgmental and will leave any room someone is eating meat in. Well last night I confronted her and essentially told her I'm not going to become a vegan. That I don't care about the documentaries and that she's coming across as pushy. She got upset and I'm wondering if I was too harsh. AITA? Edit. Was told to include that I did tell her I wasn't interested over text first when she initially sent. The documentaries. NTA. This behavior is obnoxious and politely telling her to stop is justified. She would almost certainly object extremely strongly were the shoe on the other foot. E.g. you sending her videos of barbecue or something. NTA the reason so many despise vegans isn't usually because they don't eat meat. It's because so many of them tend to be so damn preachy like your roommate. Ignoring it won't make the problem go away. So the way I see it is that you have two ways to shut this down. 1. Keep telling her to knock it off and that no one cares. Or 2. Watch a documentary with her. Specifically one in which they show animals being slaughtered. And make sure to say at the end. Wow. I really need a cheeseburger right now. Number 1 is the nice way. Number 2 would make you an AH. But it can be a lot more fun. NTA and she is the poster child for why people avoid vegans. NTA. No one wants to live with an evangelist doesn't matter if they're stumping for religion. Veganism. A politician. Or the benefits of using hemp over cotton. If she does it again I would tell her you didn't sign up to be preached to and if she feels so. Passionately about it she should move into an all-vegan household. NTA she comes off as low-key passive-aggressive. But I can't wrestle judge you since the way you said it and the wording could make a huge difference. NTA. If you wanted to know more about being vegan. You would have axe. Her evangelizing is going over the top. Next time you see her. Ask if she wants to watch some of Ted Nugent's hunting shows. She should move into an all-vegan household NTA. NTA. She's proselytizing, which is unacceptable in a roommate. NTA. Sounds like you've accommodated her dietary needs just fine. And she needs to accommodate yours and the other roommates. Too many vegans, vegetarians, and pescatarians are vehemently overly promoting their lifestyle. And I'm happy for whatever they decide to eat. But for me, there's a place for all of God's creatures. And it's right next to the mashed taters. NTA. She is worst possible vegan ambassador, showcasing all the worst traits. NTA. You and the other two roommates are clearly respectful of her choice to be a vegan. The fact she can't reciprocate and respect your disinterest in choosing veganism means that she is the asshole. NTA. Vegans are fine. Preachy vegans are annoying. Keeping the top shelf vegan is fine and sensible and means no risk of meat juice dripping on her vegetables.
repeatedly recommending vegan propaganda for movie night is asshole behavior. Because it's not, here's a movie I thought you would enjoy. It's, I want to preach at you. Leaving the room when someone cooks or eats meat is her choice. She wouldn't have spent very much time in the kitchen in my college flat. Because it seemed like someone was always cooking meat in it. Cheap cuts of meat in the slow cooker FTW. But in itself, that's not a problem. She just has to understand that if she continually runs away from meat, she's going to exclude herself from a lot of things. NTA. Sometimes we just have to be told when we're being dicks or that we've gone too far. Nope, you told her how you felt. Doesn't seem like you overstated it or were too harsh. NTA. In Ta, she's leaving the room when someone is eating meat. Her behavior is over the top. NTA. Veganism is fine. Militant veganism is a scourge. NTA. In Ta. My Catholic college roommate tried to get me to use natural family planning when dating and left. Anti-abortion pamphlets everywhere and I told her I'm not interested. NTA. It's one thing her being vegan which is fine. But unless you're leaving out facts that someone asks or shown interest. Then no you're not the aw. Sarah can be passionate about it all she wants. But to start trying put her ideals unprompted. It becomes an issue. She needs to not try to convert people. She might be a new vegan and like new Christians they feel the need to save the world. NTA. It's not an issues of you hating or not accommodating her. It's an issues of her preaching veganism. She should stop. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.